Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. My name is Mr. Lan. I will be walking you through fourth grade mathematics week number 24 and day number two. And the content may be found on page number 180 of your workbook over there. So let's try to get started. So today we're going to be talking about addition and subtraction of capacity. Well, guess what? That's not different from what you learned before with regards to how to add decimals together. Wow, we did that a few weeks ago, right? We can apply that mathematical skill to add capacities together, to subtract, subtract capacities from each other. Well, how do we do that? Watch this. All right, so we're gonna to try to be adding capacities and subtracting capacities from each other. All right, so addition and subtraction of capacity. All right, so, all right, so let's take a look at it. So. There's an exercise over here, which is a tank holds 2,564.50 gallons of water. Another tank holds 5,400 gallons of water. What is the size of the tank that can hold both? Well, that's an easy problem over there. Just add it all together, right? So tank number one, 2,000. 564.50, all right, another tank, 5,400.0, well, guess what, just add it all together, 5 plus 0 is 5, 4 plus 0 is 4, and this is 6, all right, 5 plus 4 is 9, and this is 7, guess what, we didn't have a tank that's going to be able to hold 7,000, 964.5 gallons of water, okay? Before we can pour the contents of this tank and the contents of this tank into this third tank over there. All right, so let's look at another example. A container holds 126.7 gallons of water. Another container holds 236 Point two gallons of water. What is the size of the container that can hold both? Well, that's another addition problem over there. So go ahead and add it together. Seven plus two is nine. Six plus six is 12. Carry your one over here. One plus two is three. Three plus three is going to be six for you. One plus two, that is three. All right. So we have 362.9 gallons okay so we need a container that can hold 362.9 gallons of water all right what is the volumetric difference between the results of one and two well that's a subtraction problem right all right so we're gonna say seven nine six four point five Want to make sure that our decimal points are going to line up together. They use a digit to the right of the decimal points over here. And then you are going to write your 2, your 6, and your 3. And you just subtract it. All right, so what's going to happen? So 15 minus 9, because we can't do 5 minus 9, that's 6 for you. Well, this is not going to be 4 anymore. This is going to be 3. 3 minus 2, that's 1. All right, 6 minus 6, that's a 0. 9 minus 3, that's a 6. And this is a 7. All right, so the volumetric difference between container number 1 and container number 2 is going to be 7,601.6 gallons of water. All right. So that's how you can apply your lessons of addition and subtraction to capacity measurements. 
It's that simple. All right. So please go ahead and turn to page number 180. You are going to see additional explanations over there, especially how everything fits into place values in the table. I want to thank you for watching with me today. Remember, God cares about you and so do we. Bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body And as you study With heroes born I will be your friend So don't you